Hey guys, so after the JWT implementation uh, video, one of you asked to explain a little bit more about the configuration settings that we have on our JWT uh, middleware. Mainly speaking, the token lookup and the authentication scheme. Now in general, both of them will uh, tell Echo where it should look for the uh, JWT token. By default, the token will be uh, looked upon in the he authorization header and we saw that uh, in the last video with the authentication scheme of bearer and this is what the prefix to the token in the authorization header value uh, but those can be changed we can set uh, the token lookup uh, to any header name that we like and we can set the auth schema to any string that we like even something that doesn't really exist in, rea in reality and we can also set echo to look uh, for the token inside the cookie which uh, the name we can paste uh, we can paste and name it whatever we like so let's play around with it a little bit let's go and set our token lookup to uh, let's say header oops uh, let's call it just my header just to make a point and the auth schema will be I love books just to show you that even anything uh, can be used so let's try to see how we'll do it from the client side let's build it first uh, yeah should say what i want to build run it and let's go try to get to jwt main and we have a missing invalid jwt token so Let's get the token. Let's go to our login, if you remember. With the jack, password 124. We're getting back our token. Let's copy it. Now, let's add authorization. Authorization. Ah. Authorization header. And let's paste it inside of it and just to show you that it's not going to work and let's go to our jwt slash main and we're still missing the jwt token because echo looks for it in a different place and it looks for the token in my header and try it this way without the auth schema it still won't work because we need to pass it I love dogs schema and now it works perfect so if I change the I love dogs it won't work um, and if I change the header name it's also not going to work but if everything is set correctly I'm getting the pass amazing so now uh, next I want to try and to uh, look echo next uh, set echo lo to look for it inside the cookie so let's change it to a cookie let's call it uh, JWT cookie this will be the cookie name and we don't need the auth scheme anymore because we're going to use it from the cookie now let's create the cookie on our login process so if you remember in our login process we created a cookie and a token so let's create another cookie just without any thought copy and paste it let's change the cookie um, to GWT cookie we don't need this 
and let's call the cookie uh, JWT. Oops, cookie. Right, this is the way we call it here. Uh, no, with a capital S. C. So and the string will be the token that we just created in our create token from the last video and set the cookie everything looks pretty good so now let's build it run it and now let's go from the browser let's just make sure we don't have the cookie here already so let's go and try to access uh, our uh, JWT endpoint. Oops. And we're getting a message missing a JWT in the cookie. Okay. So let's go to the login endpoint. Login with the user Jack and password 134. And we're getting the response, the token, and everything. If you look in the network, we can see that we get two cookies set session ID, which is the sum string that uh, we did in the video uh, about the cookies. And another cookie is our JWT cookie with the token. See, this is the whole token that we are getting setting as a cookie. So now, if I'm going to go to JWT main oops hopefully this is going to work and yes we're on the secret page if we look in the network we can see that we're passing uh, two cookies the session ID and the JWT uh, cookie token now let's go to, uh, to our server and if you remember, in the JWT endpoint, we're printing logging out uh, the name and the ID. And we can see that we still get the name and the ID. And the reason is that uh, Echo will put, they will extract the token from whatever the token is and still put uh, it inside the, uh, the context in, in an object with the key name of user so that this is have no uh, uh, influence or about where the cookie is stored and coming from from sorry uh, another question that uh, I've been asked is what is the JWT from cookie uh, function and this is is like the JWT from the query and JWT from header, which each of them pulls the token from uh, its destination. And if you can see, uh, it has a lower first letter, a uh, lowercase, which means this is a local fu function. In, in essence, we can't really use it. So we don't really need. Uh, can see we can't use it in our endpoint and this is for internal internal use uh, of echo and basically it just takes the token uh, and is part of the token retrieval uh, process of uh, the JWT package uh, so yeah guys that's it I hope I shed some light about uh, about the configuration of JWT middlewares and I'm really happy that uh, and you guys uh, commenting on my videos and uh, asking questions. It really, really, really makes me happy and makes me want to continue doing the, those videos, even though I have this uh, funny accent and uh, English is not my uh, first uh, born uh, language. It's not easy, but your commenting and uh, everything and, uh, and uh, subscribing to this channel is very, very uh empowering and make me want to do more and more so please continue commenting con continue asking questions and requesting uh, more videos um, and that's it until next time bye bye